You're acting like you're the first woman that's left with two children. I've been doing it for 14 years. I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay, with 16, your son, I don't like you. So this is the first clip of these grown ass 304s trauma bonding over who makes the worst life decisions as adults. And then the second clip, we got Lil Scrappy reacting to Erica, you know, spazzing out because I said something about her kid and, you know, Erica ended up getting canceled. How I feel about Erica getting fired? I don't know if that's real. I know I seen it on the Love and Hip Hop page, so somebody sent that to me, but I they, everybody was like, I don't know, I ain't even heard of that. I was just like, hey, I don't know. I mean, I think that's pretty bozo for them to fire somebody after they set you up. They set you up and put you, they get you all hyped up, have somebody talk to you, you know what I'm saying? And then you react, and then they want to fire you, you feel what I'm saying? And I don't even fuck with y'all, I don't fuck with her at all, like, at all. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, if you put, you put me in a position, cuz, like, Nigga talking about my kids and all that fight. I ain't even throwing no tape. He throwing the tape and fight in the hand. They they can find me, they know that. They know they can I'ma still do me. I was doing me before, I'm doing me after But it's just I don't see how they can do that, how they can fire somebody after y'all started. <laughs> you feel me? You started it. Yeah. So a little scrappy comments. Pretty much says, yo, Shorty was dead wrong for what she said and did and all that. And then, you know, social media must have got to him. He must have read some comments or two. Because then this happens. I just seen the clip. And that and then, well, it, I don't wish, like, I don't wish nobody life to be, I don't wish nobody to be fired, locked up, in jail, like, hurt, dead, none of that. So I can't say I wish that on them. But I'll tell you like this, like, it's, it's, it's wrong. <laughs> Erica Mena was wrong. Erica Mena was wrong. And whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever they got for, you know, you know, you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because colorism is real. We do know that. Racism is real. We do know that. You know what I'm saying? Hate. It's real. We do know that. I got a song called The Hate Is Real. Tell me. We know that. Yeah, you see, he switched his tune up all the way like a T Pain song. But, you know, whatever. Maybe you had a little bit more time to clarify what was going on, whatever the case may be. Boom. Now, let's break down what happened here. Number one, this is the stupidest shit I ever heard of. Two grown ass women talking about who had the worst trauma of being a single mom. Two, this show is designed to have, the producers knew that these two would argue. But anyway, the, the Spice Girl or Ice, whatever her name is, started talking about Erica's kid and she reacted just like most people would. Flipped the table over, but then she started calling her monkey and that's where she fucked up at. You can't go to an all black show calling people monkeys, yo. Like, the way she said monkey, she was obviously trying to get under her skin, and she said it at least twice, you know what I'm saying? And it did have a racial tone to it. Now, from my understanding, Erica Mena is of Puerto Rican descent, not that that matters. You know, I think her first baby dad's Puerto Rican as well. But then you got her other one that's black, which is Safari, I believe, and I think they got two kids together from what I saw. And this is an actual thing where I've actually heard of this in my own life where you have a, a black man and a white woman, they have kids and they don't work out. And next thing you know, he's up. I can't even say it cause you know, but yeah, you can't do stuff like this, yo. Like I can't go to Mexico, shoot a video and call everybody wet. I can't go to China and start yelling out ching ching chong and not expect to get canceled. B, it's just not gonna happen. So, she should have been smarter than that, but I understand it's the heat of the moment and women, they operate off emotions a lot and her emotions was high. So, you know, it's no surprise that it came out. Now, I don't necessarily think she's racist in the sense of, oh, every time she see black people, she thinks something, but you know, you just can't say and do things like that, especially when you're around a bunch of them. And you know, the, the producer is black, you know, you just can't do that. I mean, I think this is all stupid, just like most reality shows, but I understand it. They pay you good, you know, to make yourself look like a fool. So you gotta do what you gotta do to get that bread. Hey, look, I ain't mad at you. 
But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all feel like she should be canceled. Y'all, you know, feel like she should still be on the show. You know, me personally, I don't know. I understand colorism, you know. There's every other group, if you say something about them, you know, like the alphabet people or the uh, JEWs, they'll get on you real quick. So, you know, I'm not mad at uh, us for having some boundaries too. But let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.